Hello, my conductor apprentices, and welcome to the K through 5 conductor mini course. Today, we're going to be tackling session one, the heart of a conductor. And what I really wanted to do with this session was just break down uh, the basics and really lay a foundation of what it means to operate in this role as conductor and really the attitude and heart disposition that we're supposed to hold as we're pursuing this. So we're going to start out by just doing an overview of the topics. We've got three of them that we'll be covering. The first one is defining the role of a conductor, what, what it really is. Next, we're going to be talking about who's in charge. Since we're in a decentralized model that's really wanting to empower our children, uh, things are going to look a little bit different than a normal kid's ministry. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. And then finally, we're going to talk about role responsibilities, really what you're uh, responsible for as you are leading a gathering as a conductor. All right, so let's start out with the role definition. Uh, a conductor serves the group by guiding the contributions of each role in the gathering. Uh, this, this name has been chosen really intentionally. Think of yourself as a conductor of an orchestra. Now, you're not the one playing every instrument. Uh, you're the one making sure that all the instruments together make this beautiful sound and create this beautiful song. And so really, it's not even you doing that. It's the Holy Spirit through you and the Holy Spirit just in the midst of the gathering. But that is more or less what the role of conductor is aiming for. This verse really highlights why having a conductor in our, uh, conductor in our meeting is really important. 1 Corinthians 14, 26, and then 39 through 40 says, Well, my brothers and sisters, let's summarize. When you meet together, one will sing, another will teach. Another will tell some special revelation God has given. One will speak in tongues, and another will interpret what is said. But everything that is done must strengthen all of you. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be eager to prophesy, and don't forbid speaking in tongues. But be sure that everything is done properly and in order. So really that last part is what I've really highlighted here, uh, making sure that you as a conductor are responsible for that. You are not going to be the one doing all of the praying, all of the prophesying, all of the different roles. What your responsibility is to do is to make sure that everything is done properly and in order and that together with the Spirit's help, we're creating a beautiful co-created experience in our Sunday morning gatherings. All right, so like I said, being decentralized means that we're going to operate a little bit differently uh, when it comes to being in charge. Now, this quote from Miles Monroe really captures the spirit of what it means to be a conductor. He says, leadership is not about control, but service. It's not about power, but empowerment. And we see this all the time with Jesus as he's leading his disciples. And so once again, remember, we are conducting, we are serving, we are helping, but we are not controlling. It's not our job to control the meeting, to be the one that's fully in charge of everything, make sure everything goes perfectly all the time. The Holy Spirit is going to work in us and in each of our children that are in this group, in this gathering, uh, to really do something beautiful. So really, you are basically a vessel. You're going to be a vessel for the Spirit's leading so that the Spirit can work through you in creating and help co-create this beautiful Sunday morning gathering experience. So here's just a basic overview of our responsibilities. As I've mentioned, we're going to go into a lot more depth with these in future sessions. But it's basically uh, to start out with your role to spiritually prepare for this meeting. And this is going to really involve you praying for the gathering itself and for the kids and the roles uh, that they're going to be doing to contribute to the gathering. There's also space preparation. We want to make sure that we have an inviting, well-prepared space for our kids to come into on Sunday morning. You're also going to be establishing contribution order, which really involves uh, setting up the order of the roles as they're going to be done throughout the gathering. And finally, we're going to talk in future sessions about facilitating group contributions and group merging because there's really an art that goes on in that. So I wanted to end this by just saying that you've got this. I believe in you. You've already been doing awesome and uh, really looking forward to uh, how you're going to continue to lead and guide our kids. So next up, we're going to cover in session two, preparing for a gathering. Stay tuned. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you soon.